Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. So we're coming to a close of the Cold Forge series. A few more episodes to go. Uh, I think I want to try and get to the Clan of Homeworld sooner rather than later. So what I've done, um, have a look at the star map here. I've traveled across Caridian space a little bit here, um, hitting up a lot of the two and a half, three skull worlds along here. And what I did is I pulled off a lot of milk runs, um, you know, two and a half, three skull uh, missions, and made some sea bills. We picked up a pirate um, TC for the helmet um, targeting computer. So we managed to drop that into Marauder 2. Now let's have a look at the mechs. I've changed them slightly. Really the King Crab and the Marauder 2. We got the Marauder 2 up and running now. So the King Crab is slightly different. I wasn't really happy with those pirate rotary auto cannons. Um, they really weren't putting out the damage I wanted. So we swapped them out for a pair of rotary auto cannon 5s. Um, heat management's a little better. Marginally better. Um, rec the recoil on them is a little better. Um, but it's got one evasion pip ignored, 40 damage per shot. So it's going to be a little bit harder hitting. We've got lots of ammo. Uh, we've got two TTS ballistics. I mean, our heat seeking is really good on this mech. So this guy's going to be firing pretty much all the time. Watch Dark Sweet, laser AMS, um, two ER clan large lasers as secondary backup weapons. So this guy is the long range heavy firepower. Um, and we've got a command console. We left that in the ter in the uh, the um, the cockpit just because the initi bonus initiative bonus, the sight range, and everything really lends itself to this mech. Um, so that's the route we went with this guy. Now, when we look at the Marauder 2, it's a little bit different. Go back real quick. And the Marauder 2 is slightly different. I didn't really change anything on any of the other mechs here. So the Marauder 2 is not packing as heavy a punch as I wanted to. We still need a few things. We put the Pirate TC in it, Guardian ECM, NSS system to give it some stealth, defensive gyro. Uh, it's got a single heatsink core. Unfortunately, we didn't have a double heatsink core lying around. But we've got two of our bonus PPCs, one on each arm. So the extra plus 10 damage, minus 30 heat. It's got minus one accuracy, but, you know, uh, we've got three energy um, TTSs in here, plus the breacher cockpit, so that's going to work out well. We've got one clan ER large laser in this arm, ER medium in the other, three tons of Gauss ammo for the HA-30 Gauss rifle. Now this thing fires, it's a um, hyper assault Gauss rifle. Um, so it fires, um, it's got 14 damage, but it fires six projectiles at 14 damage each times two. So it fires them twice. So we needed to double the ammo. So we got 12 turns of ammo for this thing. Uh, we do have a laser AMS on this as well to add uh, extra little bit of protection. Um, uh, and we've got a combat shield in here too, which is reducing the damage, incoming damage. Uh, when we go against the clans, we're going to want to have as much reduction to damage as possible. So that's why I put this in here. And in order to, um, like we balanced it out with a bunch of heat sinks, but we've also got the clan exchanger in here as well. So heat sink wise, it runs a little hot, but we can cycle out that ER medium laser and leave it off. Uh, if we want to. So we don't really need it there. It's just there for the extra little bit of range firepower. Uh, yeah, so that's this guy here. Now let's take these guys into battle. So we've moved around a little bit right now. I think we're at a three and a half skull, four, four skull pl planet. And the contracts are kind of thin, unfortunately, for this planet. Uh, but we do have a leave a mark one here. Uh, it's a destroy the base, which we'll do with our medium lance. I think, well, our secondary lance now, not really medium. But we're going to take Intelligence Agent here. It's a recovery mission. We're, de we're definitely going to be fighting two lances of mechs. So we're going to negotiate this. And I think I'm going to go full salvage. we got pl plenty of funds. Oh, yeah, before I forget, um, let's go back to the Argo real quick. Um, so we're preparing to make those jumps, but we really want to get um, there as fast as possible. So I've been purchasing ship upgrades. We're now working on drive upgrades, which will reduce time to and from jump points uh, reduced by 30%. It's not much, but it's going to help out a little bit, plus give us some tech points. Um, so that'll help a little bit with the jumping going there, but not much, just on the way out and the way back. Uh, but it's going to save us money going from system to system here as we try and grab enough sea bills. We're probably going to need about 10 million sea bills in total, which shouldn't be a problem because we're going to sell off our all of our excess of mechs that we have. We've got a bunch of them that we're never going to use. So we'll sell all those off. 
sell a bunch of mech parts, which I normally don't do, but the this is coming to an end, so we'll get all the mech parts sold off. We should have plenty of currency to jump, and that'll give us about probably like three or four episodes to uh, um, take a bunch of hard cl harder clanter missions uh, before we end the series. So, um, yeah, so I'm kind of excited about that. Now, in the barracks real quick, too, we dropped our four pilots for the light lands, so we're down to our main lands of pilots. Uh, and our secondary lines of pilots. We don't have any backups, so we can't lose anybody. Um, but that's where we're at right now. And yeah, so let's just jump into it. I'm excited to show you this King Crab with the uh, rotary auto cans on it. It's working out really well. The Runner 2, I think, still needs some work, but the uh, definitely the racks on this one is uh, is a little better. So I'm going to go full salvage. Hopefully we can pick up some pieces, some, some good stuff here. And this is the way we're going to run it. Uh, Recoil and Pylon are going to be on the uh, two heavy mechs. I'm going to leave Cold Metal and the Zeus. The Zeus is faster. I want him in closer. I want to get those dead fire missiles off. And then the Catapult is still running the same way, uh, which is good. So let's just deploy this Lance and get it done. All right, here we go. Should be up against two Lances of mechs here. So that's our escape point. We got to plow straight through the center, but you know we generally don't escape from fights. We try and fight everything if we can. I have no idea what this guy is. So we're just going to reserve it back to turn one. I want the Zeus to move first. Uh, so let's get. How far up can we go here? Can we get? We can get eyes on too, which is probably a good thing. Going to rotate more towards the AC20 side. Okay, what do we got down here? Don't know. Vehicle Orion K. Alright. Um, yeah, let's just hit him. Oh, two arm shots. Nice. At least I think it's what. Oh, there's another vehicle back here I didn't see. Yep, two arm shots. Took all the armor off that arm. What do you need? Um, yeah, so let's throw the crab here. Just going to park it right here. Yeah, let's get those rotaries in. Got to be a little closer for that. Nope, not there. Wow, really? It's a lot farther than I thought it was. So here we go. Now he hasn't moved, of course, so we've got a much better chance to hit. But um, here it comes. So nice chunky damage. Much better than those AC2s. Let's see what the hyper velocity can do here. How close can we get? Oh yeah, we're in range with everything. So we're in a colder environment. I ran these guys on a lunar terrain and I had to turn a few weapons off. Um, but overall, they run pretty warm. This guy runs warm because of the ER medium. If we turn it off, like this guy can fire forever, right? So I want to get a double heat synced engine for this guy. Then we can just put up another, like, hopefully we can get another clan ER large laser in the other arm. Um, but as far as this guy. So I'm not sure what the scatter is like on the hyper hyper velocity or the uh, hyper assault Gauss. Yep. Uh, I don't know if it's more like an LRM splatter where it uh, targets a certain area and then the damage is kind of applicable around it or what it does. I'm going to go Warlord on this guy. Take this early, see if we can remove him from the match here. Good damage on him though. Uh, or if it's more like an SRM or a machine gun where each bullet has a chance to hit the head. So for the LRM missiles, it's usually the first missile. That guy never even moved, eh? It's usually the first missile that counts. Uh, and then everything else um, aye, aye. so wherever the first missile hits the other ones hit around it so unless you hit in the head with the first missile you're not going to get a headshot most likely this should finish him off a lot of 40s there you go we can salvage that. so that guy the, uh, the king crab now Mr. Krabs he's got potential to do 420 sorry 440 damage if everything hits um, which is why I don't want him firing necessarily first. I want to make the enemy unstable. 
And if they're in the open, then um, they're just pretty much dead. The big 40 damage hits make all the difference, especially against the heavier mechs. The Rack 2s are fine. I think, I think you could probably... I mean, if you're crafty with it, you could probably build a Jaeger mech with those Rack 2s, Pirate Rack 2s, um, and get away with it. So this guy is a... La, Mala, La Malinchi? Banshee. Now, I think we've got parts of this guy, don't we? I'm pretty sure we do. 95 tonner. Let's hit him hard. Yeah. I've been sensor locked. Puma, what do you got on you? ERPPC, couple of LRMs. Armor. I think this is the job for Hickory. I think the Puma is a Hickory job. Um, yes, come in. Nope. I want you on this guy, please. Understood. Moving fast. Bust the nah. It's nice that these guys don't have to run in melee mechs anymore. I'm kind of glad they're in these heavier mechs. Um, with the actual phantom mech on these guys, if we're going against the clans, this is probably going to come in really handy to avoid from being hit. So I used the, uh, on an earlier mission, I had a really evasive light mech. It was a raven. And it was flanking. It wasn't doing anything. It was just basically uh, eyes on for the, the opponents that were shooting us, plus turrets. And I used the rotary auto cannon fives and the hyper velocity, uh, or the the hyper assault Gauss rifle, um, yep. on that guy. And man, he went down. I don't want to say fast, but you know, you start getting hit by forty damage weapons, and then you know those uh, scatters from the Gauss rifles that just just kill them okay awesome accuracy on this me on this mech ah not quite it all relies on what the roll you get from the uh, from the arrow system is so random which is why I don't like random damaged weapons I like knowing that if I'm hitting Right at 150 damage minus 25 percent. I know I'm going to be doing 100 and what, 120 or no, 115, 110, whatever it is. I want to know that I'm hitting for a proper amount of damage, right? I don't want to be guessing at what I'm, my damage is going to be. All right, um, let's hit that vehicle again. I'll do what I can. I know it seems like we're wasting arrows on this guy, but he's got a lot of weapons on him. Bye-bye. So the Rhino is probably another good target, but not right away. The Banshee can be handled by our other mechs. Okay, let's dump stuff into this guy. Yeah, I know it's scattered 40s, but still, it's like, it adds up, right? You really strip armor from these guys. And then when you hit them with pinpoints after that, it really doesn't matter where you're hitting. You're really ripping armor off them. Okay, CM, let's get up here. Uh, I don't really want to, well, how close to the Banshee do I feel like I can go? Probably here. Oh, I like them apples. Enemy destroyed. He didn't have much of an opportunity to do much, did he? Okay, so this vehicle vehicle is the next target. He's got to die fast, hopefully. How much armor does he have? Didn't check that. Okay, he's moving forward, which is a bad move. Should have moved behind the buildings. He's got a lot of armor. 
Yeah. Here you go, moron. So once again, you can see how this guy's he's heating up relatively fast now. I don't know. I'm not sure if that hyper velocity is worth tonnage. Maybe getting like a pinpoint, either the clan Gauss rifle or we've got a triple plus. That's a. That's going to be an awesome. Uh, we've got a triple plus um, Gauss rifle inner sphere version that gives better accuracy. We could go with a straight Gauss rifle instead of the hopper, hyper velocity, but because clan mechs are so fast, sometimes it's nice to be able to have those uh, weapons that you know. Yep. Have the capability to uh, have mul multiple chances to hit. Okay, let's dump it into this guy. Maybe we get lucky. 128. That was a front shot. Okay. I hate to say this, but I think I want to waste my rounds on the side of this guy and get try and see if we can get rid of him. So let's fire on him. There we go. Nope, not quite enough, eh? Inflicted some heavy damage. Wow. They've got a lock on me. Giving him a target, I know, but. We're going to multi-target these guys. So what are we up against back here? We've got Hadamoto Chi running at 80 tons, couple of PPCs. Jager Mech X. Two LB5Xs. Warhammer. NK. Never heard of that. 220 armor. Oh. Yeah, okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> I was wondering. I was wondering what is <laughs> Never mind. Uh, and then I don't know what that guy is again can't remember. So let's uh, multi-target this out. I'm going to shoot on the Hatamoto Chi, I think, first. And put some missiles on this guy. Actually, you know what? We'll leave the missiles off. Put these on B. Firing. Engaging multiple targets. There we go. Enemy unit destroyed. So the bonus of having a lot of these longer range weapons too is the clans are really famous for, uh, oh yeah, it was the awesome, really famous for having long range weapons, um, a lot of them, and being able to see you from a distance. So it's really going to be important to make sure we have like long range weapons to be able to counter that. You now the vision problem is going to be another story, but uh, we'll figure that out as we go. All right, let's dump shit on this guy. It's actually not bad stability from them, those hyper assault gauss, gauss rifles. That's it, move forward, buddy. Right out into the open. I got something for you. What do you need? I need you to put a couple of nice big rounds into that guy standing out in the open field, please. We got Warlord, so why not? Uh, now, do we do a cold shot in this guy? Try for a CT hit. Um, it's our chance. We're still <laughs> amazingly awesome chance to hit. So we're just going to take it. Why not? Oh, we missed with the second one. Really? Oh yeah. Well, he's torsoed anyway. Only gonna fire one, eh, buddy? Standing by. All right, pylon, rack this guy up, please. Let's see how you like this. Yeah, man, you ain't standing up after that. Just take a rest. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, you better back up. They've got a sensor lock on me. It's fine. Let him sensor lock you. Let's get in the woods. 
And we're going to vigilance this up. So I really have only been using vigilance to stabilize myself, never forgetting the... Uh, um, getting reaction on other people. Um, how much has this guy got left here? Alright, let's go for the finishing shot in this guy. Uh, let's just clean him up. Bang, you're dead. Enemy next. So two PPCs, two SRM6s off the board. Hopefully we can claim one of those PPCs. I'm looking for stuff that we can bring in as backups because I got a feeling we're going to be losing arms and parts and stuff like that. I know we'll be getting new salvage, but I'm going to want to make sure we have um, a few backup weapons. So I picked up an, a backup rotary auto cannon 5 in one of the missions that I did. Yeah. What can I do you for? What can I do you for? Um, so we've got that kicking around. Over Next now. mech is the awesome. Um, mm, I think I want more parts off the uh, awesome than anything. This guy's got 1160 armor, eh? Usually Jager mechs have got a lot less, but... Uh, okay. Let's fire on this guy. So yeah, I want to pick up a bunch of extra parts. So we're out of our bonus PPCs. I used two of them on the, on the Marauder, our last two. I still think that's the best version, the one that gives you the minus 10 heat plus 10 damage. The extra range, like the ER PPCs are kind of nice, but don't think they're really necessary. And the newer version of Rogue Tech, definitely, but not in this one. Um, yeah. We're here. Let's do it. Bang, you're dead. Whee! I don't know if the new models actually do that. I can't remember if I saw any weird uh, stuff going on with them. Let's get some speed up, get some evasion going. Hit this guy. If we get lucky, we can kill these guys just as we capture the last two uh, the bases. Orders. Just walk it up, buddy. Gonna save that resolve for uh, for the vigilance for something else. Yeah, let's fire everything. Firing all Solid connection on that one. Yeah, I was hoping to put a rack five on the. Um, Marauder. Maybe I still can. Maybe I should take out, take off the hyper velocity golf. Oh my God! Stop hitting me. Are you kidding me? Good to go. We gotta get rid of this guy. No problem. All right, I'll give him the whole night. So maybe we put that rack five on the Marauder. I don't know. The hyper velocity is not working too bad. Standing by. I copy. All right. Start this guy off. We're just going to hit him. And Hickory, yeah. Let's see if we can put him on his ass here. Let's move. He's gonna shoot the Zeus. I know he is. I, that's what I would do. Just hit him. Roger. Nice. That leg's almost gone too. See what he does here. At least he's going to be impaired with whatever he does. Okay, good. Pew. Sure, man. Warning. Armor low. 
You know what that was? That was the little message that says, hey, I could have killed you if I wanted to, but I decided not to, so take it easy on me. That's exactly what he was saying there. Just in case you're wondering. I know you're all wondering what he was saying. That's what that was. That was the message of, I could have, I could have got you. Alright, let's just, well, he's going to die. Come on, bail out. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Right here. Full speed, no shoot. Got no, we got shooting. Uh, yeah, our medium's not enough. Let's leave the large off, I guess. Engaging with time. There we go. Oh, pilot lethal damage. Nice. All right, sprint it in here. Didn't quite get what we wanted to do. Maybe we can sprint it in here. Oh, we can. <laughs> Look at that. There it is, folks. So that wasn't so bad. All right, contract and payment payment increased by thirty percent. Just. We're going to need that for repairs for sure. I know we lost something. Upper ballistic hard point. Ah. Having a hard time finding um, arm mounts. That really sucks. Um, we do have Banshee parts. I wonder if I should go after the Banshee. Is there anything else important down here? I don't think so. Yeah, that's not the PPC we wanted. Minus five damage too, right? Um, this is for cash, but no. Exchanger, maybe. Let's just drop it in for now. Don't need any engines. Double heat sinks, we still have some. Targeting computer, don't think we re I mean Remember guys, we gotta get components for fighting the clans. I know uh, mechs are important too, but let's grab the two banshee parts as well. Let's confirm this. Alright, one, two awesome parts, one, two, three, four banshee banshee parts. And three Warhammer parts. Cool. ERPPC, LBX five, MML five. Okay, so that's actually a pretty good haul. All right, 145,000. That's a little more than what we made, but that's fine. Okay, one day till the financial report. So let's do... Um, we only had two mechs that were damaged? No, we had three. Okay. The Marauder 2 wasn't even hit. That's bizarre. All right, anyway, let's just jump right into another contract here. From with our secondary lance and let's go and do uh leave a mark it's to destroy base mission we should be able to knock this off relatively quickly let's negotiate this um it's a destroy base i don't think we're gonna well we might find something interesting let's go let's go this route and we're gonna flush these guys out i could leave the marauder 2 in but we're gonna go with the lance that we usually go with here uh, let's get Riddler in and Warlock in. So uh, I've been running Warlock with the Wolverine. And she's been working great with the Wolverine. Uh, being able to move in and sensor lock so that our longer range uh, people can hit hard. So we're going to run with the Warhammer as the lead mech. We're going to bring in... Um, let's run the Jagger mech with Hogweed. And then the Bushwhacker. Uh, this catapult, I, I the secondary catapult, I laid it out. Um, it's actually... Not too bad. The only problem is, is we don't really have um, TTS missile. I'd have to buy some. I don't want to spend any. But what I did was I, I loaded it out with uh, our MRM. So we have a total of 70 launchers in here. Um, so 70 LR, like basically 70 LRM hits. So you're doing like 280 damage if they all hit and things in the open. 
it's kind of underwhelming and with the MRMs being minus one to hit and not being able to use specialty ammo um, I'm not really happy with it so I'll probably be changing it around possibly on the way to the clans just to get it up and running it's a little bit better than what we've got here hopefully we can pick, click up, pick up some clan missile launchers and we can load this sucker down with just all missile launchers and maybe dead fire ammo or something but uh, for now we're just going to leave it out it's not really working for me so let's just deploy this All right, here we go. Okay, so possibility of two lances on this one. Let's see what happens. All right, everyone. Stay frosty. So like I said, this warlock being uh, melee mech with good speed and actually having sensor lock, I think this is really the best way to run these guys. Let's find out what this guy is. I don't want to I guess it should have been like collecting how to mode chi parts, but I mean, don't really need another 80 ton mech, I guess. I mean, I guess you could use it, but. Waiting for orders. Understood. Moving fast. Waiting All right. Let's get the first shot in. Far on the ATMs. That's that's pretty respectable damage. Five times nine. Eighty-five ton or maybe a battle master down here. Can't remember how many battle master parts we have. I do remember that match we I think we played, it was Funky Steve's Medina's where there was like I don't know how many battle masters. <laughs> like three of them I think in one match. We didn't get any parts, it was ridiculous. Alright, let's move into here. Let's get this guy targeted up. Now, oh, here we go. 70%. Anything direct fire here? Right up here. There we go, 85. So I think out of all the Bushwhacker loadouts I've seen, I think this one is actually the best one I, that I like. The two bonus PPCs and the Ultra 5. Welcome. I mean, I guess the other way you could do it is use the bonus PPCs and then rather than using the Ultra 5, um, get some ATMs in there or MMLs. That's the other way to do it. That's a pretty good chance to hit for the Jaeger, so let's take him. This Jaeger mech loadout as well, too. I'm really liking this loadout. Uh, on cool planets, I mean, look at zero heat, right? Um, the two heavy medium lasers, two Gauss rifles, two medium laser pluses, and then outlight machine guns. This thing runs actually fairly well here. I think it's got full armor too, right? So, pretty good loadout. Okay, direct fire position. And this Warhammer's loaded out pretty well, too. Alright, dump stuff on this guy. I think it's got the, the Warhammer's got the right amount of damage with those ER large lasers, the clan large lasers in the arms. Um, coupled with the four medium lasers, plus the uh, instability of the, um, the ATM and the two uh, LBXs. It's kind of a nice balance, I think. And it's got range too, right? That's the other thing, is having good range on a, a mech is, like especially a heavy mech, is really important. Okay, we need to sensor lock those turrets, please. I want you up there, Warlock. Give yeah. me a sensor on the turrets if you can't see. Okay, we can see that one. Give me a visual on this guy. 450, eh? Okay, what else do we got here? This guy is an 80 tonner. All oh, right, that's the Hatamoto Chi. 85. Let's um, let's strip this guy's evasion, so we can kill him this turn. Uh, let's get Riddler. I want you on that turret, I think. Get a little further down here, so we don't have to worry about the Hatamoto Chi so much. Let's target this turret. Uh, and I'm going to go Warlord on it too. And we're going to fire. Slightly better damage. Okay, nice. Down to about half now, I think. Yeah. 
Okay, Raider. Don't know if we can finish up this turret. What do we got here? 6120. Uh 140. If everything hits, we could kill the turret. So let's get rid of this turret, please. There we go. Target destroyed. Orders. We took a let the Hadamonochi have another round of life here. Unless we can kill him with a, this guy. Yeah, why not? We're using Warlords, so let's do it. Fire everything on the side of this guy. Did we get him? Yep, we got him. Okay, good. Enemy down. It's just taking a little bit of a snow nap. It's making a snow angel right now. A snow angel with one arm. Yeah, another battle master. Okay, where's that coming from? Back to it? Shit, that better not be a uh, thunderbolt launcher. There's the other ballistic or the direct fire turret. We got to hit him. And that turret too. All right, they're all problems. Systems holding. Heavy sniper turret, what's he got? 300 damage, or 300 armor, I mean. Double PPCs, double AC2s, definitely he has to go. So let's get up into here. Fire everything. Okay, so there's uh, 220 damage for free. 90 left, eh? Um, Do this. Roger. Give me a multi, please. Let's hit this guy and this guy. Hopefully, we can take that turret. I think we should be able to. Yeah. He's going to pot shot this guy. Oh, nice. Commander. Um. Yeah, I don't think so. I think this. I know they're going to shoot me. They got a lock on me. Damn it. Screw you and your locks. Okay, at least they missed. Yeah, if that's a Thunderbolt 20, man. In the newest version of Rogue Tech, Thunderbolt 20 turrets are are horrific to, to face. First of all, they got their indirect range. Second, they got ac like ridiculous accuracy. Right? As long as as long as you're on their sensors, they can they can hit you. It's friggin' scary. They took apart one of my mechs. Well, a couple of my mechs. I'm your spaniel. In uh Funky Steve's Medina's, man, it was like, just, I thought for sure that I had my Hunchback and my Jager mech were both going to die. And I've had them in a couple of missions now, too, and it's like every time you see that, that uh, Thunderbolt coming, you're like, oh my god, no. It's truly terrifying now. Before, it's like, now it's like, you know, if you, you know, there's really no chance to hit, but, like, even 20% is a pretty high chance, but... I swear to God, in uh, the newest version, it's just they're going to hit you all the time. All right, let's make sure we kill that turret and fire the rest on this other guy. Nice. Hit the battle master, please. Eh. I'm receiving you. Moving out. Um, pretty good chance to hit. I'm going to try. I'm going to try this. Huh. It's funny. <laughs> the uh, in the little notes that show up here when you're loading, there's that one that says uh, 
they'll never see this coming and it's just another way for something for someone to be saying I'm gonna be trying something stupid Here it comes I'm not that worried about it right now but it can still be terrifying you just don't want to make sure make sure your back is not turned to that turret right let's get into here okay what do we got over here what are you, just a regular catapult? K5. What are you uh, loaded with? Two MRM 30s. Yeah. Um, probably still better to do this. I will be done. I'm your spaniel. We want this Battlemaster gone, I think, more than anything. Just fire straight on him. Is he unstable now? You're gonna melee? Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. What do you got in the back? Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Um. Standing by. Coordinates received. Which is I want to shoot this battle master. Actually, you know what? Let's multi-target then. Let's make the battle master unstable with these guys and shoot everything else into the back of this uh, catapult. Commander. Nice. Okay, we got the Goss rifle. Commander. Yes, Commander. Gonna do the same thing with this one. Um, but I think what we'll do. Oh, the catapult's almost totally gone here. So let's go with. Oh wait, no, that's gonna be A. The good stuff to B, and the smaller stuff to A. I copy. There we go. that get him? Knocked him down? Okay, right leg's gone. I think we can probably target the left leg now once he gets up. I guess the turret couldn't fall. Oh, maybe the turret's still got to go yet. So the thing this Lance is missing is the uh, long-range um, missile boat, which that catapult was supposed to be. Uh, but like I said, unfortunately, it's not really working to yeah. the way I want it to be working. All right, let's see if we can take this guy's leg. Let's go this side, back here, and attack. Take that leg. You know you want to take the leg off. Do it. Ah, really? Huh. You're right. Didn't even get the leg, I don't think. Oh, maybe you did. I can't know if it was the leg or the arm we hit. One or the other. I'm ready. I am the wind. You are the wind. At least you're not breaking wind. Let's do this. Hopefully we get this leg. Oh, we did. Nice. Down. They don't have eyes on anymore. Let's blow these buildings up. All right. Um Yeah. I Enemy structure is weakening. Structure down. Nicely done. I guess I could have split fire, but you know, we got to share the kills between everybody. Everyone's got to feel like they're contributing. No shooting, just running. Contributing. Oh, we can hit this turret too. Do that instead. Yeah, it is a Thunderbolt 20. Uh, yeah, let's warlord this up. And fire. I copy. Oh. Turret destroyed. Yeah, man. That's a killer loadout on that, uh... Ready for order. On that Jagermech. For sure. 
Can't shoot anything else. You might as well fire everything. Fresh real estate available. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Let's make it easier for other people to hit. I don't know if that narc works on the building. Heading out. And it's gone. There it is, folks. Let's go home. Two up, two down. Alright, payment increased by 35%, which is really good. We got excellent payout on this one. And almost no damage. We took a little bit of damage on the Warhammer, but for the most part, it's like really nothing. Alright, so let's have a look at the bottom first before I choose mech parts. Just want to see... I mean, those the MRM-30s. The minus one accuracy, accuracy, though, not being able to use TTS or, like, anything else with these just really makes these, like, like not a good choice. They do six damage in the most recent version of uh, Rogue Tech, which actually makes them a better choice. Like an MRM-30 that does six times 30 damage, even though you got, it's, like, more inaccurate. Like, you can't use... Um, where is here? You can't use dead fire and Artemis ammo or Artemis TTS. So, like the chance to hit is so low that at four damage each, you know, if someone's in the woods and they're fortified, it's like two damage each. If it's not long range, like one damage each. It's really just a waste of tonnage. But now that they're doing six damage each, it's kind of like, do you take it or not? Because it's kind of worth it, right? So, if somebody's in the open, they're dead meat though. Uh, case 2, maybe. Light engine? No, I don't think the light engine we need. We're going to be using clan. Proto-double heat sinks are really good because they're only one space. Um, stealth armor. Oh boy, do we take that? I think so. Um... Patchworks? I don't think we really have any call for a patchwork material. Exchanger, we can... I mean, it's one ton. It's better than a heat sink. Maybe we go that route, I think. At this point, I don't think we really need to be assembling final like mechs, because we're going to be leaving the Intersphere very shortly, and unless we can finish one off, there's no real point. So I think we'll go this route. We can get use out of these two guys, so let's confirm this. Okay, battle part, battle master part, and catapult part. We got the two MMLs. That's kind of nice, and the MRM30. Eh, no big deal. PPC just as a backup. Resolve cockpit, and endo composite. Okay. Yeah, not too bad. All right, thirty-six thousand repairs, which is really nothing. I've got the financial report. There's our financial report, seven hundred fifty thousand. So if we go this route, like when we go, when we leave here, I'm gonna try and leave. Um, so that when we do leave, I can crank down the cost of like this cost here to minus two and plus four. And then when we get there, I'm going to crank it up. Um, so we'll save a huge amount of C bills and then we'll be able to pay out a lot more when we get there. But we're probably going to need, I was kind of calculating this. It was about, I think it was 1.75 million in C bills just to tr just in travel costs alone. And then financial statements it's it's just a little bit under eight months so it's like i'm gonna say eight months at least um to get there that's just straight flying there right so at eight months times seven hundred fifty thousand, it's about six million c bills so we need about roughly eight million c bills just to travel to the clan homeworlds right that's at full financial report will be less than that so i'm thinking if we gather about 10 million c bills right It'll be enough that when we get there, we can crank up our um, our payment to our mech pilots and our and, and our techs. So we get plus four tech, plus two skill level for our pilots, um, which is really going to help out in the battles to come against the clans. And then we'll have a lot of cash left over so that when while we're there, we can repair our mechs and be rebuilding them as we get more clan gear. So between now... And the next episode, what I'm going to be doing is gathering up that money. We're going to be selling off old mech parts because we're going to be grabbing clan mechs when we get there. 
Um, selling off the old Mac parts, selling off the old Macs that we're not using, gathering up that cash to make sure we have around 10,000 or so C-bills before we leave, which I don't think will be a problem. I may have to pull a couple of minor milk runs here or there, but that'll be it. Um, and then we're just going to travel straight there. So the next time we come back um, will probably be, uh, I'll probably start the travel from here um, and then end the travel. Like we'll, I'll make an edit once we get to the clan homeworlds and then we'll take a mission as soon as we get there. Um, so the next episode will be us traveling to the clan homeworlds and actually doing some combat there. So I'm kind of really excited about that. Hopefully we can take some higher skull missions. I'm probably going to start off with a three skull with our main lance just to see what we're up against um, and get a bit of gear. Um, and I'm going to do some, some uh, really low uh, skull missions as well with um, our secondary lance just to pick up some gear between episodes so that we have some more stuff to add to our mechs so that by the time we get to episode 100 we've got a half decent uh, amount of stuff. So, yeah, and then I might do, I don't know, I'm, I'll probably keep this on the drive, maybe do an episode sporadically here or there after episode 100. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it ends up. But, yeah, so we're going to end it there. If you like the episode, drop a like. If you have any suggestions for what we should do when we get to the clan homeworlds, drop a, a message in the comments section down below. And until next time, we'll see you all later.